The chickens are doing a really good job still laying beautiful, beautiful eggs for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and fry some of these this morning. I'm going to use some of this um, organic mozzarella. I usually use cheddar, but I am out of it. And what I'm going to do is just put it on one side of the egg and I fold it over on the other side. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So I take this side, because it's two eggs, and I fold it over onto that part like that. Take it, fold it, and then the cheese is inside of that fold. And it's just a simple breakfast sausage sandwich. <laughs> That's it, driver. Hold there. Hold there. Okay, you got it. Here, here. I'm making nervous, probably. How you feel? You drove all the way? Yeah, no. Hi, guys. Welcome home. Hey, sweetie pie. You come to greet mama. You come to greet me. What's going on? What's going on? You want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> Come here, chick, 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 chick. Come here, chick, chick, chickies. Oh, you guys, look at the garden. It's so bare and bearing, but it's still things growing in here. There's still life in the garden. Hey, cheeky babies. Y'all just destroy my pathway. Y'all really do. Right there is celery, mustard greens over there, kale, more mustard greens are all over there. I just need to cut them back. The frost hit those. Um, this is celery right here, what the chickens are eating. All of this is celery and it was from my mother plant. It dropped seeds and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six plants or more, seven. There are little babies everywhere too. And look at them. Hopefully they're getting all of the bugs out of the garden that are going to be um, detrimental to my plants overall health. So I just came down here to check out the coop and see what I have in store for me tomorrow because I will be coming out here and doing some cleaning um, I haven't been out here because it's been cold, cold, and your girl wasn't coming out here in this coop, in the cold, scooping up poop. Not gonna happen, okay? But I do want to come out here though and work in the garden because I can use all of this compost in the garden and I'm going to show you what I plan on doing with it. So I have some eggs to harvest. We have quite a bit of them today. Like yesterday, I'm gonna show you. Here they are. Now, keep in mind, they are usually in their, um, they are in the nesting boxes, guys, but after a while, they kick all of their stuff out and they just put them in a nice little neat little pile in the front of the nesting boxes where they laid the eggs um and someone told me you know to be careful about the, the lamps which i 
I know I had read about them and the dangers that they could cause fires and things like that. And that's why we try to keep everything mounted up as much as possible so that it doesn't um, bring them any harm at all. Don't want to do that. Maybe that could be a project that I could work on tomorrow is um, put in the braces, put in the, what do you call, I don't know what you're going to call those. So, like they look little, I don't know little slats in front of the coop the nesting boxes to keep the eggs from rolling out and keep you know maybe i can work on that tomorrow i don't know we'll see we'll see she just hopped up here from here she boop and she hopped up here but look at the poop look at the mess they made a mess in here so it's definitely time to clean the coop but Pretty decently clean eggs, but the eggs are more clean when the, the nesting box is clean. So, I mean, the coop is clean. Right, girl? Right, girl. You up here um, trying to stop me from getting your eggs? Oh, so, there's their waterer. That is a five gallon waterer um, that they like a lot. And there are feeders here, and then there's a feeder over there. But yeah. <laughs> but I came over and opened it up earlier, and they were inside. So just that while that I was harvesting the eggs from inside of the nesting boxes, they had decided to put them in this little pile. I left and went inside to get my phone and I came back to a nice little neat little pile of eggs in front of the nesting boxes. So funny. And what I do is I just take them inside and I put them in some water. And, um, oh, there's one. Let me get that one too. I let them soak in water and it just removes all of that residue from from them now what i'm gonna do here is sit that up there and i'm gonna just reach in here grab those mm -hmm. so funny my new hampshire red this is nugget She's more than likely the culprit for pulling all the eggs into the into a pile. She likes to do that. Okay, I think I got them all. All right, so I have to clean them a bit, but for the most part, this is a nice nice harvest for the day. I'm grateful and thankful for my eggs, 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 eggs so cool and it's so funny because um i remember when we were getting um the chicks some people left comments um about other people getting their chicks and they were laughing at them saying that they were they were stupid for trying to get chicks that they don't realize that it's going to take a long time to get eggs and it was so negative because people were getting their chicks because they knew that in the long run, it would be beneficial for them. It's going to benefit them in the long run. Yes, it takes six months or whatever. It does. You have to be patient. But at the end of the day, with your patience and diligence, you get your harvest, you get eggs, you have food provided for your family. Okay, you can't beat that. So I'm gonna show you how I rinse them off and get them ready for the fridge, okay? Come on, let's go. Hey you guys, I don't know how y'all do it, but this is how I do it. I just set them down in some cool water and I, um, just let them sit in there for just a second or two. And that's because I like, um, you know, I like my eggs to be clean. And just sitting in the, in the water, um, it rinses them off. I don't have to do much work. I don't have 
have to scrub them and all that because they're not terrible. Well, that one's really dirty, so let's let that one sit in there, down in there. There we go. All right, so clean them off. Let them sit in there in the water for a minute, and then I'm going to show you what happens once you just let them sit in there for a few minutes, okay? Time to go in, girl. Come on. You ready to go in? Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. All right. Is everybody in? Did everybody go in the way they were supposed to without me saying anything? Wow. How cool is that? See you later. Go on in. <laughs> no, go inside. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're funny. Hold on, I think something is blocking the way. Some sand. Yeah, if y'all were wondering, this is sand on the bottom of the coop. All right, it's gonna. Something's still blocking it. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six up there. Let me make sure six. Seven, eight, nine. I'm can't have it count. I'm missing one, y'all. Let's see. Nine. Let's see. This. Uh oh, can't see. Oh, there they are. Let's see a little better. Oh, it's grainy. Let me go back out. Okay. Everybody's in. Good night, girls. See y'all in the morning. <laughs> Good night. Oh, man. Whew. I had to run back out here real quick and make sure the chickens went back in the coop and they do it they do it on their own I don't have to coax them along and you know guide them in there now they're pretty well well trained it's really cool we're ready for the grill we're getting ready to um, throw some things on the grill all right so back to the um, washing of the eggs I'm gonna show you all within that few minutes of me um you know letting them soak what they look like all right we're back at the sink and i wanted to just tell you i do use a little bit of like cool to warm not really warm water okay because i don't want um any of the the eggs pores to open up so just that few minutes maybe five the eggs are really clean now what I like to do, because all of the debris is at the bottom of the container. And what I do is, I'll just give them a nice rinse one more time and then place them in the egg carton. I'm gonna show you what I do with that. All right, so as you can see, all of the eggs are really, really clean and beautiful. No cracks, no holes, no pecking on them. Just really, really nice. If you have one that needs to be cleaned a little more, this looks like a, a stain. So that one's kind of stained and it may not come off, but it is clean, okay? So now I'm going to show you what I do to put them away. Dishwashing liquid on this dish towel and I'm going to use some bleach from Clorox because I set the crate down on this cutting board and I want to make sure I sterilize everything. And I am going to also sterilize this sink because we don't want any bacteria from the eggs to get, you know, in here and cross contaminate and make anybody sick. So we have to remember that about chickens and their um you know, debris, their poop and everything. We have to make sure we clean behind really, really well. All right, so we left off with um, cleaning your eggs, right? 
I wanted to tell you that some people use like chemicals on their eggs to clean their eggs. I wouldn't advise putting a chemical on any of your food. That's why we choose to raise and grow our food organically so that we can use we can grow our food chemical free as possible. So I don't really know why you would do that. I know you're trying to kill bacteria, but no. I don't think that's really necessary. Just cool water, a little lukewarm, I say. Just a little cool to warm. Let your eggs sit in the water. Let the debris settle off of your eggs. Rinse your eggs well. And then dry your eggs, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna dry the eggs off really well. And um, then I have recycled my crates here. These are the egg crates that, you know, I, we all would get right from the grocery store when we would get our eggs. And you can purchase these like at um, different stores. You can purchase egg cartons and crates and things like this. But these, I just recycled these because I actually am going to break them down and put them in my compost as well. So um, let's go ahead and get them dried and we'll be done. Okay, so I have wiped down and sterilized that area of the cutting board, okay? Now, as far as the eggs, now as far as the eggs, all I do is just take my paper towel here, right? And the egg, and I'm just gonna dry it off. And I'm, I'm actually working with one hand, I'm not using my, my tripod. And I dry it off like so, and boom, in they go. So making sure it's nice and clean. I have some little speckles on some or whatever. I just wipe it off, you know, make sure that there's no debris on there. Remember, after you have done this process, make sure to clean your sink out and um, sterilize everything down because you just, you know you don't want anything to be. These are some pretty eggs. Look at that. These chickens eat organically. They eat um, organic hen laying feed. Um, they eat probiotic. I put probiotics in their water. Um, apple cider vinegar. They eat kale. They eat collars. They eat bugs. They eat worms. Um, they just have a really, really nice, healthy life. And because of that, we are able to get really healthy eggs like that. Ooh, so pretty. Now, I have two Easter eggers. Now, my egg experts out there that are watching this video, I am trying to determine. I think I have one of my Easter eggers that are trying to, um, she's trying to lay because I keep finding her um out there i don't think she's laid though but one time i think she did but the egg wasn't green or blue it just had a greenish hue to it so you guys let me know in the comment section down below let me know if the easter eggers will lay um blue and green eggs like right off the bat or because it's still a young hen and she's trying to you know you know grow up and everything if it takes time for the eggs to kind of develop into that hue what happens to that let let me know guys I'm tell, I rinse it off too just to let you know I rinse it off but um let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to know all right guys I'm all done and as you can see there's all the debris from the eggs at the bottom of that water and I just rinsed them off as I placed them over here now look at that guys isn't that beautiful oh my goodness that is gorgeous so this is how we clean our farm fresh eggs I hope you found this helpful and I hope you found some inspiration here um, if you were thinking about raising your own backyard chickens, it is an absolute joy and a delight. So that's it for now, guys. Look at the colors. You got your darker browns, your tans, your taupes. It's beautiful. Yes. And that is it. That is how we clean our farm fresh eggs. I hope you found it 
helpful and um and i hope you are enjoying your farm fresh eggs wherever you are and yeah guys i will see well you know what i gotta call y'all like um something more than guys because you know you might not like that all right friends i will see you all tomorrow bye